When you program, the first step is usually to plan your program. We're going to use a variety of planning tools in this course. Before we get started on creating our first program using the processing environment, I want to show you how processing works. Processing is really letting you draw graphics on the screen, and it's drawing graphics on the screen using a grid system. In math, you're used to the axis being a little different than this. When we're using graphics programs, you always start with the 0, 0 coordinates in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Your X coordinates are your horizontal coordinates, and your Y coordinates are your vertical coordinates. So when I put something on the screen, let's say a dot, which I have right here, now I'm letting, and you can set your own on this, for my graph paper, each of these squares is worth 10 pixels to me. So I can put in my location of that by showing my X, Y coordinates, which is 50 pixels to the right on the X coordinate and 70 pixels down on the Y coordinate. Down is a positive number in this coordinate system. Let's say that I want to actually draw a line. I would need to plot another dot, which I have here, and then I would need to figure out the location of that dot, which is that, 220, 150. So on the X coordinates, it's 220. On the Y coordinates, it's 150. And then I can draw my line between the two. Now, that's how I'm doing this here. I'm using Photoshop. I've actually scanned in my graph paper, and I drew this out by hand. Usually, I'm just sketching by hand. And this is how I would write the code. In processing, the code is line x1, y1, so 5070, x2, y2, 220, 150. So the syntax, which is the rules for writing your code, would be line 60, comma, 100, comma, 220, comma, 150. Let's see that work in processing. So processing is your development environment, and each drawing that we make is called a sketch. Even though we're writing code, we call it a sketch. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put in a comment, and this is just for my use. Draw a line. And the computer will ignore anything with the two slashes. That's for humans who are reading the program. Now you can see I said that the syntax, the rules here, are line 60, 100, 220, 150. We can do that, but if we just do that, will it work? So there's my code, and I can test my program by hitting this little play button to run. Nothing appears to work because we actually need to do one thing before we do that. We need to draw the size of the window. So we tell processing size, and we'll say it's 500, 500. And then we'll run it again. And there we go. That pretty much matches what I have planned. I might be a little off on those numbers there. It doesn't seem to be quite the same angle. So I want you to create this in processing. And then I want you to add a few more lines. And you can draw them out first or not. This one's just for play. And so you can start at different points. And know that you can do partial. Um, you can do 0.5 here. You can do a partial increment. You don't have to go in with only whole numbers, I think. Let's find out. Sometimes it's just good to, you can always look things up, but it's not going to hurt anything if you experiment and see if it causes an error. Nope, it accepted it. I don't know how much of a difference it made, but it does accept your partial number there. So you can go through. Now this is going to be your sample from lectures number one for week one. You're going to need to capture this and hand it in in your OneNote notebook. So to do that, you should have installed Jing, and you can just take a quick snapshot. So I just highlight what I've done, and I want you to have at least four lines when you're done. And then you'll hit Capture Image. And if you want to, you can save, but I actually generally just copy. And then I would open up OneNote. Now, you'll have a downloaded template for OneNote. This is actually, I'm doing a research paper. So we'll get into processing. 
Let's just open it. And so for week one, and you'll again have a template where I have it down there that you'll have module one. This is going to be, we'll say we're in module one, and this would be the page for lecture programs. And you should see a spot for module one, program one, and you'll just paste it in there. That's how you'll prove that you have gone through the lectures with me is by pasting them in and adding them to the OneNote notebook.